Hi everyone, a little bit of a different video today. I am here with my brother Panayotis. Panayotis is going vegan for the day. He's posting the video on his channel, which will be linked in the description, so you can check out if you want. Oh, you can. It's for up here. Panayotis has challenged me to cook his food for the day. He's basically going to eat what I eat in a day. Yeah, if you want to see his reactions, make sure to check out his video after watching this one. And if you're here from Panayotis' channel, hi, hello, welcome. Welcome, I hope you enjoy. So to start out, for breakfast I am making us avocado on toast. This is one of my favourite breakfasts. I eat it probably at least once a week, sometimes even more. So avocado on toast, definitely one of my favourite meals ever and look at that avocado. Best avocado I've had all year probably um, and I was really excited to eat this, I'm not going to lie. So I like to slice up the avocado while it's still in the skin and then scoop it out with a spoon. I know you can peel avocados but this is just how I find it easier and the least messy. I add oil and lemon, some garlic and some salt and then I just adjust these as I go along. Mash it up, you know the drill, just mash it up until you're happy with it. Put the toast in get the plates out <laughs> I like to use oil over butter when it comes to avocado on toast um, I like to use olive oil I put my avocado on the toast spread it and as a topping I love 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 using sesame seeds So the avocado on toast is ready. Banagiotis just had his uh, his uh, first taste. Yeah, Peter Banagiotis had his first taste. He had his he's having his first meal of the day basically. Mm. Um, if you want to see his reaction and if he likes it, check out his video because his reactions are going to be all in his video. This video is mostly me showing you what I'm making. I'm about to make us lunch. We are having miso soup for lunch. Um, I have my mushrooms, spring onions, pak choy, seasonings in general. Um, I will leave, a, I saw this on TikTok, I will leave a link to the TikTok in the description for you to have a look. And I'm also gonna double this as meal prep for the week. Let's make some miso soup. So I use some spring onions, some very thinly sliced mushrooms and some pak choy. I am not sure if this is a proper miso soup recipe and if this is what you would class as miso soup, but it's a miso broth and some noodles and vegetables. So yes, uh, apologies if, if it's not actually called miso soup, but that's just what I'm calling it. So I slice up all of my vegetables and the mushrooms in particular have to be super thin so that you can make sure they cook. I'm adding vermicelli noodles to the bowls, half a stock cube each and a teaspoon of miso paste. I then add the vegetables, starting out with the mushrooms, spring onions and then the pak choy. I like that there's a variety in there of textures and flavours and I really think it comes together really nicely. I also like to add some ginger just for some extra flavour, a tablespoon of soy sauce, I'm using dark soy sauce, some white wine vinegar, four hundred ml of boiling water. And then personally, I do like to mix it up a little bit before putting in the microwave for two minutes.
For dinner we are having chickpea curry, so I'm just going to get my ingredients out of my cupboard. We're going to need salt, uh, ginger, lemon, this is not in order, I need chickpeas. So starting by chopping up an onion, I am then going to heat up some olive oil in my pan and put the onions in. Next I've got four cloves of garlic and I'm using my mincer thingy to mince them, adding, a half, adding half a teaspoon of ground ginger. The recipe says fresh ginger, but I don't have any. Half a teaspoon of cumin. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. Half a teaspoon of paprika. I like to use a mix of regular and smoked paprika. It's up to you what you use really, just whatever you prefer then a teaspoon of salt you will need more salt afterwards but just start out with a teaspoon and then adjust it as you want a quarter of a teaspoon black pepper which i'm not gonna lie made me sneeze so much two cans of chickpeas mix it up a little bit I feel like a recipe book. Um, some chopped tomatoes, almost dropped them. Uh, coconut milk, and my camera cut out here, but you know how to add coconut milk. Um, just mix it up. It looks really pale to start with, but then it goes a deeper orangey red color. Um, and then I also added lemon juice, which I forgot to actually show you. made us chickpea curry for dinner. Panayoti said that he likes it um, but he probably wouldn't make it. I would say that overall this challenge has been a success and I hope this video gave you some inspiration. Exactly, I hope this video gave you some inspiration and ideas for some meals. Yeah. I just wanted to say that was a little bilingual thing. <laughs> yeah. I forget it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you would like to see more content with me and Panayotis, you can check this video right here, which is Panayotis' video on his channel. Go check it out. Go give it some love.